What's going on and good morning champs and champets, it's Fire Monkey here and we have some interesting news to talk about in today's YouTube video regarding Chapter 4 Season 1 aka the season we're currently in in Fortnite and how it's going to be ending earlier than we ever intended, right? Now this is something that isn't really that big of a change but at the same time it's a very interesting thing to see happen because if you guys have paid attention to how Fortnite's been before, right? Back in Chapter 1 it was the thing where every season got delayed, right? And then we slowly at this point over time where it was like the delays stopped happening as often and it ended up just becoming the game itself just being like hey the season ends on this day and guess what the season would typically actually end on that day but at the start of Fortnite's history and as far as I can remember I remember at the end of every season basically you know going to my Fortnite Twitter account and tweeting out it's like this season has been delayed to blah 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 because of blah 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 but for the first time in what feels like ever and for the first time ever just in history from my knowledge and everything going on Epic Games has instead of delaying a season Season, push the new season forwards, meaning that this season's now going to be ending earlier than normal. Originally, if you paid attention to the Fortnite news and everything, the current season of Fortnite was supposed to end March 10th, which, you know, was a decent time. You know, it definitely made sense for it to end around there so that they could prepare for the new season and everything else. But as they've continued to work on stuff, they've been continuing to, you know, of course, work on like, you know, UEFN, which is Creative 2.0 for anyone who doesn't keep up like the name of it and everything. But as they've continued to work on stuff, they've been making these very strange mic micro adjustments to the stuff they've been doing to the point where even the new season has been pushed forwards to starting on March 8th instead of March 10th. And I think the reason why they're doing this isn't related to, you know, like an event or anything, because I feel it's way too soon for an event right now. But instead, the reason why I do think they're doing this right now is because they're trying to get prepared and they want to release the new season right with the launch of UEFN, right? You know, right with the major change to creative mode and all that stuff. I feel they want to release them at the same time. So it's like, hey, guess what? You have this brand new season, it's themed around all this stuff or whatever, but at the same time, this season is also issuing in a brand new era of creative mode, where we also have the launch of the Fortnite editor, aka UEFN, at the exact same time as the new season launching. And as we know, Epic Games did end up delaying the new launch of UEFN all the way out to March, which matches up with the same time as the new season. So I highly have a suspicion, you know, with all these micro adjustments and things going on, that Epic Games might be planning to release Creative 2.0, basically, as we call it, but, you know, as it's officially called UEFN, with the launch of next season. And it almost feels like they intended to launch it with the start of this chapter, but they kind of missed the deadline due to bugs and stuff with their actual code or, you know, whatever else, just bugs with the program entirely that caused them to have to delay it. So I just, you know, have this sneaking suspicion with everything going on, it just so perfectly aligns itself to be related to the new season launch. And who knows, maybe when the new season launches, we'll even get, you know, some themed cosmetics relating to Creative 2.0 such as you know maybe like a skin that's like a creator themed thing or something like that I don't really know what they could do but maybe that could kind of play into a theme for the upcoming season and everything else of course it is just a lot of speculation and everything but it still is shocking to see that Epic Games has been doing these weird micro adjustments recently and it's not only related to the new season right because we actually heard that they were going to change when stuff ended to March 8th yesterday well we just assumed you know the since this was for the level up pack that maybe just the level up pack ended two days early or something so we we didn't think that much about it until today when all the news broke but for example that level up pack is in a very odd spot where it feels like it was supposed to release last update because of the fact that when it releases both the week one and week two weekly challenges for the pack meaning you know 14 entire levels will be available right away on the 16th once that pack releases instead of how it's typically been where you know it's been four whole entire weeks dedicated to you know this week you get this pack this week you get another seven levels this week you get another seven levels and so on and so forth it just feels like they're crunching everything together because they wanted to space it out over time but they're really trying to you know speed things up and speed up the process so that they can just get things out of there and you know prepare the world for this major change to creative mode. Now, of course, I could just be seen as, you know, that crazy Santa hat wearing guy in the middle of February who's out here talking about how, you know, all these things are linked together. They're connected by threads or whatever. But, you know, it kind of makes sense, you know, just the whole entire situation, at least in my mind, going on right now with creative mode and everything that's been hyped up and how we've been getting a lot more leaks for it. It really does seem like they really want to push for UEFN once that releases. And it really feels like they might have things planned that, you know, are related to the game itself once it is released, because as we've seen, 
seen even recently with, you know, like the Fractured Live Event and stuff, this Creative 2.0, this UEFN, has made its way even into Battle Royale more and more. I mean, in fact, right now, whenever you go to your replay menu, if you ever see like a red download icon next to the replay, that means that there is something on the Fortnite map in that replay file that was created using that UEFN thing. So I highly just expect that, you know, as we continue going forwards with everything going on with Fortnite, we're going to be seeing more and more of this just happening and changing to the game where creative mode becomes more and more of just a powerhouse in the game and who knows maybe we'll even hit a point where instead of you know having the block as a thing right where it's like oh hey this creative mode poi is going to be making it into the game or something imagine if we had whole entire maps created using uefn and you have the option of you know playing battle royale still earning all the xp and everything doing all your quests and everything like normal but in this you know custom map made the size of a battle royale island using uefn because it also allows you to download files specifically for whatever you were playing at that time instead of having it downloaded whenever fortnite has a new update or something like that so it's going to add this unique version of like polarity to the game where you know there's all these unique things you can do and it just seems suspicious how you know everything's just lining up so perfectly around this time but of course i'd love to hear in the comments down below what do you think about the entire situation what do you think about the new season being released earlier than intended and what collaborations are you hoping for right what things are you hoping for with the new season i'm hoping for you know like some new movement or whatever i know we had leaks at the start of this season regarding like wall running and that just gives me major like titanfall vibes so i would love to see something like wall running be added to the game officially next season and hopefully it doesn't end up like hurdling which was added this season which still at the time that we're making this video is disabled right so hopefully you know whatever happens next season hopefully if we get new movement or whatever i just pray that you know that movement stays in the game you know it doesn't end up being disabled for the entire season with them mentioning oh yeah we're going to be bringing it back in the future because i got used to hurdling man i love the hurdling system right it was fun just to hurdle over objects or whatever else and it just it was kind of weird to see how it's just been gone right they've had to replace challenges so many times recently just because you know these features that we're all we all got used to because they were added at the start but had you know a few bugs here and there just got removed and what is my aim i am sorry you know i had to disappoint at the very end of the video with this type of aim i apologize let me just boop all right with that said I don't really have much else to talk about, right? You know, we talked about, you know, the new season being released earlier. We talked about the level up quest pack going to have like the first two weeks released at the same time and everything going on with that. And with that said, I think that's it. I hope you champs, champs, have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing and support the content I create or dislike it and, you know, unsubscribe. It's all up to you. I'm not going to judge you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.